Hey guys, so I'm currently waiting to get into this little parking lot area so that I can get my first dose of the vaccine. So um, we'll see how it goes. I've heard that there's um, somebody's cutting in front of me. That's cool. Um, but there's quite a bit of wait. I have a two hour window, so I expect to be waiting a while. Um, so I guess we'll see. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why, but I'm nervous. Um, so hopefully everything goes well. Um, I'm early, not by much, just because I've been stuck in this long line of cars for a while now. But, um, I had to leave work early a little bit. Um, actually a couple hours. Uh, and with this, um, vaccine appointment, it's like, they give you a time frame, a date, and that's what you get. And if you cancel, then you're at the back of the line. So I got to take what I can get. Um, so anyways, we'll see how it goes and see how long I have to wait. So excuse my hair. It was really windy outside, but I got it done and I just want to show you. Oh, it doesn't show anything but let me just show you a little mistake. Even on here my name is spelled wrong. What is this? Biomarin Pharmaceuticals invited me to discuss my life prior to receiving Alter Enzyme back in 1998 and after starting my weekly heavy infusion. It's amazing to see how inspired these manufacturing people are at Biomarin that they really want to get medicine created for patients in the rare disease family because without patients in the rare disease family it's hard to see why they're creating this medicine each week it's just amazing to see how far Algerazyme's come since 98 just to see how it's been manufactured and everything to the little tiny Kwanzaa hut, World War II Kwanzaa hut now in Los Angeles just to see where it started there and now it's being manufactured at these big headquarters. It's just remarkable to see all the work. So your, your story is really inspiring and it's um, just amazing you're able to share that and I hope you can continue to share that through your YouTube videos and maybe uh, in the future if we pull you on site or something after this, this yeah. COVID world. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Hey guys, we hey. are out here in this blizzard. In what appears to be a blizzard, I mean, at least for us here in Texas, this is unheard of. It is freezing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, we're trying to fly the fly the drone <laughs> right now, um, and the little I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Let me see. Can you see it? Oh, it's following me. It's okay. So, <laughs> it's freezing. I know it can't find me. There it goes. Uh, let me flip you guys around. Look at that. This is crazy. <sighs> little, little thing about me. I get excited about even a few flakes of snow. So, this is just so crazy oh look you can see the drone he's trying to fly in this crazy wind Whew. and it feels like negative zero degrees out here according to our weather app I'm not sure if that's true but I do know that my face feels like it's about to fall off so it's pretty cold but oh, turn back around it's windy. but anyways thank goodness we have a little Jeep action to help us drive through this snow and we're not going far we're being safe okay so but anyways we'll catch you guys later hey guys we're back in the car now after a fail of being Texans out in the snow yeah it's so cold like <laughs> and it, if you would see how it's coming down now yeah it's even harder than it was five minutes ago when you yeah. saw us 
It is literally like slapping you in the face. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, we couldn't even take a picture because it was just like hitting us straight in the eyeballs. So <laughs> I think it's the way we were standing. No, no. It's coming from all directions. So it's pretty bad, but I'm, like I said, so excited. Yeah. Um, we're trying to feel our face again because right now we're kind of numb right now like i can't move my eyeballs and the car says it's 12 degrees outside right now yeah but the wind chill is yeah. negative zero so yeah. we don't know what that feels like but since we're both from texas we haven't really experienced this type of snow in texas yeah i don't yeah. even th have you experienced this type like this type of cold in kentucky i don't think this type of cold i just think Maybe more snow in More Kentucky. snow, but yeah. definitely not these temperatures. Definitely not, no. It's crazy. So, I know that everybody, it seems like everybody um, in Texas is going to feel this, which is crazy because yeah. North Texas will feel it usually, some, yeah. you know, occasionally every 10 years, right. but never down south, and yeah. I think they're going to get some of this too, so yeah. that's pretty crazy. And I know that Kentucky is going to get hit <laughs> too, but I mean, they're... Yeah. This is like a little surprise. Yeah. It's definitely the first Valentine's Day I've ever had with snow. Yeah, definitely first ever I've ever had with snow. And it's our first Valentine's Day actually together. Yeah. I'm not flying back to Kentucky. I'm here for good. Yeah, yeah. so that's exciting. Yeah. But we're going to go back and snuggle up in our warm home because yeah. it is so cold. Yeah, and as you all saw in this video... Sylvia got her first vaccine. How'd that go? Uh, I was good. Yeah, it was kind of a long process. Not too bad, I guess. Um, and I was a little sore after. Actually, I was pretty sore after um, the next day that I woke up. It was kind of hard for me to um, use that arm at all. Um, but I managed. And then after that, I was fine. I didn't, I didn't experience anything else. So... I'll just be waiting for my next, my next dose, so. Yeah, and then the other day was my 23rd anniversary of getting my first dose of Altruism, which it's crazy to think how long ago that once was, and but just to see how far my life has changed since 1998. Now I'm happily engaged to this beautiful woman, and we're planning a wedding for this summer, and thankfully it, it won't be like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we opted out for... Not that our winters are that cold, but I'm saying, like I said, this is not usual. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to be getting married married in weather like this. No, yeah. we're picking the exact opposite. Yeah, we're picking... In the scorching hot weather. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. But anyways, we're excited. Yeah. Time is quickly passing by. Yes. And I think we've got everything pretty much done. We have a food tasting coming up in a couple of months. And then we're going to go to Panini Bakery and do cake stuff with them to choose what kind of cakes we want. Yeah. Man, I think about that that cake now. <laughs> they had Valentine's Day cakes going on. And they look phenomenal. Yeah. So we're excited about doing all that fun stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, hope you all enjoy this video again. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share our journey. Without you all subscribing, it's hard to grow this channel. So, please continue to share our journey. And until next time, we'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.